Hey everyone, in this video, we'll look at how to integrate Paco and Climbing System with Invector and use both of its functionalities together. So here in this project, I have both the Paco and Climbing System and the Invector shooting template installed. And here I have a sample demo scene opened from the Paco and Climbing System asset. Alright, so let's start the integration. So first, let's choose an Invector template to which we want to integrate. So I'll just choose the Shooter template. So let me drag and drop this to our scene. All right, this is the template I want to use. And now let's integrate the Paco and Climbing System to this template. So the first step is to enable the Invector integration from the Welcome window. So let's do that. So I'll go to Tools, Park on Climbing System, and I'll open the Welcome window. And from here, I'll enable the Invector integration. All right. So this will reload the project. If it doesn't reload automatically, then just switch the tab once, and then it should reload. Okay. So next. We have to copy the Paco and climbing animations into the animator controller of the Invector template. So this is the Invector's animator. So to that, we have to add some animations from the Paco and climbing systems animator. Okay. So these are the animations that we need. So I'll just select them and I'll copy. And then I'll just paste it onto the Invectors animator. Okay. So after copying the animation, we can move on to the third step, which will do the actual integration. So for that, first we have to open the integration helper. So I'll go to the Paco and Climbing System, Integration, Invector, and I'll open the integration helper so to this first we have to assign our player template so the player template here is this one and then we have to assign the invectors animator okay so let's find the invectors animator in the assets so i can just click here and this is the animator so let me assign this to the animator controller field and then we can just hit the integrate button and this will automatically do the integration for us it will create transitions for all these animations and it will also add some extra scripts to the Invector template okay so the next thing we have to do is we have to disable the default jump function of the Invector okay so the reason for this is because the default jump function of Invector will interfere with the jump of the Paco system. So we have to disable it and it has to be disabled from the code. So I'll open Visual Studio and in the V third person input script, you can search for the jump function. And here you can see that the jump function is being called. So we can just comment or remove this line and this will disable the Invector's jump functionality. Okay, by the way, a quick tip, if you can't find the script from Unity, just use control comma shortcut in Visual Studio and search for third person input. All right, and you should be able to find it. So let's try to test this. So I'll just go to my demo scene and I'll disable the Paco controller and I'll test it using the Invectors controller. Okay. So yeah, you can see that we are able to perform Paco actions. So the integration is working. So next, there is also an optional step that we can do. 
So we can also add the ledge movement functionality to the Invectus controller. So for that, you just have to copy this line to the move character function of the Invectus motor. So let me open the Invectus third person motor and you can just search for move character from the script and you'll find this function and in this function you can just paste the line that you copied from the documentation and this should give us the ledge movement okay so let's try testing this now And here you can see that the ledge movement is working. The ledge movement in, in vector integration won't be as perfect as the ledge movement of the actual Paco and climbing system. The reason is because for the integration, what we're doing is we are adding the Paco and climbing functionalities on top of the Invector's locomotion. Right. So ledge movement is actually a feature from our locomotion. So we can't have that in the Invectors locomotion. We're just modifying the Invectors locomotion like this. Okay. So the ledge movement won't be perfect, but you can use it if you like. All right. So this is how you integrate Invector with our Paco and Climbing system. I hope you found the video helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.